responders, hospital staff members, caregivers, truck drivers, custodians, delivery people, trash and recycling workers, grocery store workers, and those who are employed in essential categories, help them to serve the community at this time. And for those who are expecting a baby, Rachel, Grace and Jim, and Emmy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, especially Rick, Allison, Courtney, Hunt, Meredith, Jamie, Linda, Elise, Betsy, Kendall, Asher, Raymond, Lotney, Anne, Sarah, Sarah, Erica, Kelly, Carol, Matt, Milo, Lori, Benjamin, Jim, Mortz, Monique, Carl, Ed, Beth, Jean, Mikai, Vernon, Lindsay, Martha, May, Katie, Roman, Lillian and John, Hannah, Whitley, Sarah, Joan, Marty, Becky, and Rebecca. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commit to you all who have died, that those who will will be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints into your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, and what we ask faithfully, grant that we maintain effectually to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. We we'll use the language found on page 360 in the prayer book as we say together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace. Even as we wish you peace this day, we take a moment to offer prayers for those whose lives have been given in military service through Iraq, through Afghanistan, and Somalia. We offer a blessing first. On behalf of this community, we seek God's blessing on this book of names to which has been added the names of those who have died since this time last year. Let us pray. God of peace and love, throughout this Memorial Day weekend, let us especially remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in military service, and those who suffered post-traumatic stress disorder, those who have suffered injury of any sort to body and to soul. Today we remember that 7,030 men and women lost their lives in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Somalia, and who loved our country and freedom so much that they were willing to fight and die.
for us. We pray also for the families that lost their loved ones, our brave men and women who fought and died in these wars, and all the previous wars that were fought long ago. We know that war comes with a cost, but not to fight and protect our freedom would come at a greater cost. Lord, please send your protection, your love and your comfort to all the servicemen and women still in service around the world and bring them home safely and comfort their families in these challenging times. Heavenly Father, we know that you also laid down your life for us. May we strive to make earth more like heaven, so that one day there will be no more, that we will live together in world peace, world love, and world unity. At the outset of our service of Holy Communion, we remember those lives given in the past year. Clayton James Horn, Nathaniel Irish, Antonio Moore, Moises Navas, Diego Polo, Brody Gillen, Juan Miguel Mendez, Covarubias, Marshall Roberts, John David Randolph Hilty, and Christopher Wesley Curry. May light perpetual shine upon them.
Our service continues with a great Thanksgiving with Eucharistic Prayer of A that begins on page 361 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 361. The Lord be with you. And also, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through your dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. After his glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples, and in their sight ascended into heaven to repair a place for us, that where he is, there we might also be, and reign with him in glory. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all that come in heaven, who forever pray this now to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, our Father, and the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us meet the feast. Alleluia. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them and remember that Christ died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.